Hi, this is Ikro Fahi from Spectral Audio, and today I'd like to introduce the brand new CV2 Kit Pre. CV2 Kit is a standalone software designed to generate CV and gate signals using different virtual modules that can be used to control modular and analog synthesizers in many different ways. Our goal for the new 3.0 version was to improve upon CV2 Kit's feature set, design, and performance in order to create a more intuitive and easy to use workflow. CV2 Kit 3 includes a new design, new features such as snapshot and quick route, improvements to existing features such as layouts and themes, new options for generating MIDI, and more. So let's check out some of these new features. CV2 Kit 3 features a new design to make it look more modern and easy to use. Many parts of the UI, such as the sidebar panel selector and the slot headers, have been redesigned to reduce clutter, improve readability, and offer a more fluid experience. The new Snapshots feature lets you quickly save and recall the state of all 12 slots as a snapshot, and store up to 8 snapshots per layout. Snapshots can be saved and recalled instantly via the 8 buttons available in the Snapshots section. You can use snapshots to save different sections of the performance, different music ideas, or different variations of a patch, all based in the same combination of modules. The new Quick Route feature in CV2 Kit 3 offers a new way of routing signals between slots. Although CV2 Kit has always featured a routing matrix to let you route signals between slots and outputs, we wanted to offer another way of quickly routing signals while you're still in the process of selecting what modules you want to use in your layout. To use Quick Route, first open the slot loader by pressing the letter M on your keyboard. The new arrow on the top left corner corresponds to that slot's output. To route it to an input of a different module, simply click on the arrow to activate Quick Route and select one of the inputs of a different module. When you route a signal using Quick Route, CV2 Kit automatically updates the routing matrix to reflect that new connection. The new status board lets you monitor signals on the gate bus and check when CV2 Kit receives MIDI, MIDI clock, and OSC messages. CV2 Kit 3 includes two new ways of generating MIDI messages. MIDI notes can be generated using the MIDI note module available in the standard factory pack. To generate a MIDI note, first route a CV signal from another module into the MIDI notes input, as well as a gate signal via the gate bus. The MIDI note module will quantize the incoming signal and generate a MIDI note whenever it receives a gate signal from the gate bus. The velocity of the generated MIDI note can be set manually or modulated via CV. You can also set it to a specific pitch if needed. As for MIDI CC messages, CV2 Kit 3 now includes an option to generate CC messages based on the 8 outputs of the routing matrix. To activate the matrix CC outputs, go to the MIDI OSC panel, then activate and select a CC number for each of the outputs. This means that, combined with the CV to MIDI CC converters available in the utility rack, CV2 Kit can now generate up to 12 simultaneous CC messages. With these two new methods of generating MIDI messages, you can now use CV2 Kit as a powerful MIDI sequencer to play other virtual instruments in your DAW and other MIDI instruments in your setup.
The utility rack now features a new and combined oscilloscope that lets you quickly visualize signals routed to the rack 1 through 4 inputs of the routing matrix. The new 3.0 version also includes improvements to the notes module. The smart tuner now works in quantizer mode, and while in it, the notes module can output quantized pitches to the pitch bus. This means you can now use the notes module to control the pitch of other modules, such as the morphing VCO. CV2Kit3 also includes native support for Apple Silicon, major performance improvements to layouts and themes, and much more. All modules available in the Deluxe, Beats, and Mod 7 packs have also been updated to work with all the new features available in CV2Kit3. If you're already a CV2Kit2 user, check your email for a special offer. For more information about CV2Kit3, head over to spectroaudio.com. And as always, thanks for watching.